Coming up right now on Around the Oval, USAO students are working to make Christmas in Chickasha just a little brighter. Anna Cook will have a report, and Taylor Finney will introduce you to a freshman soccer player that is already breaking records. All that right now on Around the Oval. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten Glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes aglow Christmas is coming early this year for the students and principals of marketing. Instructor Krista Copeland says students will be working on one of Chickasha's most celebrated holiday events, the Festival of Light. They are going to work directly with the Festival of Light, which is a nonprofit here in Chickasha, uh, very well known statewide for the efforts that they um, do here to just bring people to our community. Students will be working in teams to develop a marketing plan that will be pitched to the Festival of Light Board of Directors. Plans will include ways to continue the festival's success with new events, programs, and services. Um, our plan for the Festival of Light is really focusing on um, bringing more people in, especially from surrounding areas. I remember when I was little there used to be like fireworks ceremonies and big stuff. Um, especially the opening ceremony and I think it would be really neat to incorporate that stuff on all of the weekends and get like performing bands and that sort of thing. Talking about how the tree is bigger than anywhere else in the Midwest or that there's 3.5 million lights, maybe add something new such as like new food vendors or an ice skating rink even or something along those lines. Copeland hopes real world projects will allow students to form business connections that will help them after graduation. Reporting for Around the Oval, I'm Hannah Cook. The USAO women's soccer team has accumulated six wins and three Sooner Athletic Conference weekly awards through preseason, landing the team at number 17 on the national rankings. We have a wonderful team, um, so many talented players. I mean, it's incredible, really, getting to play with people and under Coach Hampton and the coaches, they're just so great. Emma Rice, a freshman amidst her debut season, has risen above to make a lasting impression. She has contributed 10 goals in nine games, ranking number 14 in Division I for total goals. I just kind of take it game by game. I go out there and do you know, the best that I can do and just hope that that's enough to live up to the standard. Looking to rekindle a winning streak, the Drovers will be hosting Randall University for a non-conference match Friday at 5 p.m. I expect us to go as far as you can go to the national tournament. I mean, we have the capability to do so. We have the resources. The coaches give us all the answers, and we just need to be able to perfect that in the game and, you know, take uh, their words into practice and um, just become better. The fans are urged to wear your best green and gold to the game in honor of SAB's Spirit Week. I hope to see you there. Reporting for Around the Oval, I'm Taylor Finney.